Hi, my name is Jesslyn, and this video is going to be over least common multiple. So least common multiple. So first of all, you need to know what a multiple is. Again, this is math language. I hope my videos help you determine what math language to use. A multiple is um, counting up by that number. So multiples of three are three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. I'm going up by three each time. So those are multiples of three. Multiples of four are four, eight, 12, 16. You, multiples are when you count up by that number. Multiples of 100 are 100, 200, 300, 400, and so on. So least common multiple between two numbers is we're looking for the multiple that they have in common, but the smallest multiple that they have in common. common. So for example, 12 and 18. So we have 12 and 18, least common multiple. So what you can do is you can just start listing multiples. What I like to do is I like to tell my kids to take the highest number and just list those multiples. And then when you recognize that it's a multiple of 12, you can stop. Now, if you need a little help, you can list both of them and see. But multiples of 18 are 18, 36. So to me, I written 36 already, but I know that's a multiple of 12. So you can think like that, and so 36 has to be the least common multiple. Let's say you didn't know that. Let's say you didn't know 36 was a multiple of 12 until you started counting up by then. So let's just continue. 54, we're going up by 18. We're just naming the multiples of 18. So we have 18, 36, 54, 72, 90, okay? Now, we're going to list the multiples of 12. 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. So we're just listing multiples of 12. You can stop when you see that they have 36 in common. But again, if you just continue to list the multiples, that's totally fine too, because then you can go back and look and be like, oh, 36, they have 36 in common. And remember, we're looking for the smallest number they have in common. So the LCM, the least common multiple, LCM of these two numbers is 36. Let's do another one. Let's find the LCM of nine and 10. I'm gonna do it my way of how I tell my students first, and then we'll do it the rest of the way. Remember, I tell them to start with the highest number and do those multiples. So counting up by 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Oh, I know 90 is a multiple of nine, okay? I know 90 is a multiple of nine, so that has to be my least common multiple. But again, if you didn't know that, let's just keep going. 100, you're like, oh, I'm tired of writing. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there for right now, and then I'm gonna go to my nine. Nine, 18, 27, nine times four is 36, nine times five, 45, 54, nine times seven is 63, nine times eight is 72, nine times nine, 81, nine times 10 is 90, I ran out of room, 90. And then I can stop because 90 and 90, okay? So this is how you find least common multiple. All you need to do is list out the factors, okay? Let's do one more for keepsake. And I said list out the factors, I meant list out the multiples, sorry. I'll correct myself. Four and 12. So I'm gonna start with 12. Oop, I already know. Let's say I already know that 12 is a multiple of four. There you go, there's my least common multiple. Let's say I didn't know that, so I'm gonna list out 12, 24, 36, um, and I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna see if I can make it short. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and so on. I gotta stop there and check. Oh, I do have a number in common, okay? That is my least common multiple. Thank you for watching.